Two Minute Tools and Tips Tuesday is back again. Today's tip is coming from the world of Git. We're going to talk about why you should commit early and commit often. Now, Git will allow you to work any way you want, but I think it's a really good idea to commit more frequently and in smaller chunks. This encourages focused change sets. This helps us really zero in on what we're working on, what is most important right now, and keeps the set of changes more isolated. With smaller, more focused changes, it's then easier for us to have more focused, clear, and descriptive commit messages. This will make it much easier to document what the diff contained, why it was done, and it'll be easier to read in the future. Better commit messages lead to a better, more clear, and easy to understand commit history. It'll be more easy to trace what was changed, why it was changed, and be able to find problems down the line. If your history is easier to follow, then it becomes easier to find an error, whether that's through manual testing or a git bisect. It then also becomes easier to revert a commit because it touches fewer things and has a smaller impact on the overall code base and the resulting commit history. If our commits are smaller and more clear, it's then easier to share these commits with others, whether that's through cherry picking of a single set of changes, or when we're merging our code, it can be more easy to understand why the change was made, whether it should be kept or not, or just keeping commits and diffs smaller to have to merge fewer sets of changes at once. This all then aligns with the idea of continuous delivery. If we're constantly able to share commits, merge more quickly, and have small focused sets of changes, it's then also easier to have small focused releases and ship more code more often. And if you're worried that committing more frequently will lead to a messy commit history as you're figuring things out, not to worry. You can modify your commit history as needed to clean up and have a better idea of the important set of changes. We won't look at this now, but you could look at amending commits or rebasing.